What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of It's Howling Time with the Howling Wolf. Here, we're gonna give you selections for February 15th, 2022. The track that I'm gonna do is gonna be Pin National. And first of all, I'm gonna give you my, I'm gonna play my intro music, then I'll give you my top selection and my prize for. Again, the track that I'm going to do for you is going to be Pin National. It's going to be race number six. It is going six furlongs for an allowance of $28,000. Class, excuse me. There's a field of seven horses running. Again, I'm going to give you my top selection plus my price horse. For my top selection, I'm going to go with the number seven. Memory Boutique at morning line odds of 3 to 1 is by Orientate out of a Pensionville mare. Last time ran was back in January 25th in an allowance 28,000 non-winners of 1 for 5.5 furlongs. Had to come in 5th by 5.5 lengths. Just being on the outside of there, just couldn't get any room. Had was wide, went five wide, and the quarter pull, but just was tired. Had no way of coming in or anything like that. No way at all. Tried a new technique of running, which probably sh should have stuck with the one that it knows this horse could come in. in. The time before that, it ran on January 11th at at Penn National. For six furlongs, going allowance 28,000 non winners of one. Was able to get a good second by three and three quarters lengths. Had the bid, was wide, and then came in at a good second best. The workouts have been on July 28th of last year, did a 47.8 seconds breezing. Time before that, it did a July 16th at Penn National did it in 48.4 seconds freezing. It was the second best. Well, what I say with this one, the jockey trainer combination, they're at a close to a 11% wing click. But the, tra the jockey of is at a 12% win percentage. The trainer is at a 13% win percentage. What this one's going to need to be done, getting Emmanuel Aguilar aboard, uh, getting a different type of view, maybe tell the trainer will need to tell the jockey to keep this horse up, be right there pressuring the pace setter, which may be this seven horse, but also try to be up there, stick with it, be close, Coming around to the turn, should be able to come up and be up there for a good fast speed. It's dropping in class, has a way that it's going a little longer, stretching back out to six furlongs, has some good placings at this distance in that pin national, has come in at for has come in twice out of the nine races at pin national. And won twice of the eight at this distance. Again, what's going to need to be done? Again, be the pace setter or be behind the pace setter. Hang on there close. And then right around that turn, coming up, move up for coming to the stretch into the finish line. 
be up there and hopefully hang on for a good win. So again, for my top selection in race number six at Penn National, going six furlongs, it is the number seven memory boutique at more line odds of three to one. Now it's time for my price selection. My price selection here, it is the number six, Where Are You Be? At Moreland Odds of 6 to 1 by Ride on Curlin out of a Lewis Michael Mayer. This horse is good to go, running at this distance, had issues, and the la only time it ran at Penn National. Had the veer in between the horses, we had to go three wide and stop completely. What I see here with this one, the jockey trainer combination is at a 35% win click. And at this distance, the horse and the trainer at the distance is at a 30% win percentage. It is getting. Julio Hernandez aboard, which for the first time should be able to get in this horse into position. Well, if it's looked at his past performances and with this second time coming around, it's stepping up in class for sure from 16 up 16 thousand thousand dollar claimers. With this one, with the step up in class, I believe that it has the, the the fractions to be able to come up good and late. If Julio Hernandez could get this horse into position well, maybe be the pace setter in this one. Most likely it would be the best idea to do is try to be the pace setter and be out fast and quick and hopefully be able to hold on for a good placing at a price or even into the money at a price. So again, for my top, my price selection, in race number six in Penn National, it is the number six, where you be at morning line odds of six to one. <laughs> and remember, when you're cashing with the wolf, it's howling time. Good luck, everyone, and let's make some money.